Hi, I'm Michael Dora, Director of Communication Services, and we're here talking today about some changes that are coming to fiscal services, technology services, and human resources. I'm joined by Ann Botatatabis, our Chief Operating Officer, and Leslie Pellegrino, our Executive Director of Fiscal Services. Thank you for joining me today. So we've heard the superintendent talk about how FCPS delivers on the promise of public education and how we're modernizing the organization to take it into the 21st century. Can you talk a little bit about how the changes that we're talking about now will move us in that direction, how it's a positive thing for FCPS? Absolutely. I really appreciate Dr. Albin's vision. Uh, one, our hallmarks include innovation, and so to be innovators, you have to be flexible, you have to be adaptable as an organization. And right now, within our business services group, we defined what our common values are, and we said that customer service is at the top of that, um, as well as collaboration and teamwork. So these changes, I believe, are going to bring those hallmarks to life. And Lizzie, specifically in your group, how do, how do you see these changes being a, a net positive? We're looking at the way we do business. Over the last five years, 10 years, things have um, changed how we process our um, financial transactions, just like at home. You pay your bills probably today differently than you did five or 10 years ago. It's the same, true, same is true for fiscal services. We do our bids differently, we pay our invoices differently, and we pay our employees differently. At the same time, we have the demands of the public and the, um, our customers, as Ann mentioned before, our customer service is to our departments and our schools and also to our public. Financial information is wanted by all of our customers, and in this stage of instantaneous, they want it quicker and faster than we've done in the past. And what we'd like to do is reprioritize our staff so that we can meet the needs of our customers. Can you talk uh, more specifically about the changes that are coming to fiscal services? It, yes, um, what we're doing is um, we're repurposing our budget department and what we're going to do is merge in our budget and financial reporting together so that we have dedicated resources that take our budget from inception all the way through to um, financial reporting and year-end reporting. And so we're going to be merging our budget and finance together and then our areas of accounts payable, payroll, accounts receivable, those will be under a department called accounting maybe talk about how these changes are going to be made. It sounds like there are a lot of changes underway. Is that a challenge for implementation? Mm -hmm. It can be, um, but it's one that we're going to be upfront communicating every step of the way. It'll take a couple different phases as we implement because we want to make sure that we get our main managers and supervisors in place and that they're able to help us select the teams that are going to be working with them. And then there's going to be a whole component where we want to be able to communicate with schools because as Leslie was talking about, as we reorganize and do business differently and dedicate people to certain functions within the organization, what we've heard is that people want to know, who do I call? Who do I write to? Is there any one person who can really answer this question for me. And we want to make sure that we're delivering that kind of customer service to not only our internal schools and departments, but also we deal with a lot of vendors and outside people who come to us with those kinds of questions. So the more we're able to give shape and define those types of things, we'll be able to provide that kind of service that people come to expect from Frederick County Public Schools. Is there anything you can add, Leslie, about the, the specific plan or timeline that you're working on? As Ann mentioned, we're going to do this in two phases. The first phase is to identify the department heads. Um, two of the department heads will be current employees that are already in those positions, but we will be posting for an accounting manager position, and that will go up and be posted in March, and we hope to fill by the end of the month. Um, once that's established, then I will sit down with my purchasing manager, my new accounting manager, and the director of our um, budget and finance area. And the four of us will work together all the details, exactly where staff members will be located, which departments, and um, we'll also then look at the duties for each of the departments and make those final decisions. Are there any details that you haven't worked out yet? Oh, certainly. Um, particularly, where will the specific employees, which departments they'll fall under, and also the duties. There are some duties. Um, that we will have to decide does it fall under the accounting area or is it a budget finance area. And you mentioned earlier uh, that we're going to be keeping employees informed at every step of the way. Can you say a little bit more about, about why that's important and how we're going to do that? One of the things that we heard loud and clear through several different processes, which even included a communications audit that we did with Frederick County Public Schools this past fall, is that people want to know why we're making changes, not just what the changes are. 
and it's important for people to understand the reason behind it, the motivation, and the impact of those changes because everything that we do is going to benefit our organization. And just like we work with our instructional leaders and with our teachers and saying that we need to be adaptive and responsive to needs of students changing, and we explain why the curriculum is changing and how our assessments are changing and how that's going to look different for students and teachers, we need to be able to do the same for all of our business professionals and throughout the organization. So fast forward for me six months, a year, what do you see fiscal services looking like? Share that, that vision with us. It will be somewhat similar to what we have now. We have five departments under fiscal services. Um, they will remain five departments. They're just going to be repurposed a little bit. Um, we will continue to have our warehouse and food service areas, which are not part of this reorganization, but they'll still be in fiscal services. And then we'll have the accounting department, the combined budget finance area, and the purchasing area. But as Ann mentioned earlier, what I'm really looking forward to is the, having the dedicated resources and, and assignments for people in our departments and in our schools exactly who is their financial contact and who can help them, again, all the way through the budget process from the inception of that budget all the way through to the financial reporting. So uh, to members of our community, our employees, the business community, whomever, seeing these changes, can you tell us how will it benefit them? How will it make a stronger FCPS? Right away, I think that it shows our public that we are being responsive to all of our customer needs that are out there because our parents, our, our vendors, um, all of the people that we work with out in the community are looking to FCPS and making sure that we are being wise consumers ourselves, that we're being good stewards of taxpayer money. And those kinds of things are very important. And the more that we're able to demonstrate that and show that we're working in conjunction with our community and we're being responsive to them, I think that we're delivering on that promise of public education. And one question that folks might have is, is, is this reorganization going to be cost neutral? Absolutely, it can't be anything but cost neutral. That goes back to that good stewardship and realizing that we have a budget and we have to stay within that budget. And so we look at all of the dollars and cents and while some bodies might be different, the number of positions may look different, you might see some different job titles, the dollars and cents aren't gonna be more than what they are now. And that's going to be for all of the reorganization that we do within the business services group. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Leslie? Um, as Ann mentioned, one of the important um, aspects of this reorganization is to have the resources to be able to respond to our customers. And that means our customers on the outside and our customers on the inside. And I really believe that this reorganization is going to help us deliver on that. Ann, Leslie, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.